Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Surviving with Three. <laughs> with with Three, here with me, Chillum. Well, so there you go. Dusk has fallen. <laughs> Dusk has fallen. And it's another night as a vampire. This is fantastic. Now, I'm going to put you all out of your misery. Uh, we're not fighting Lilith today. We're not doing it again, apparently. Oops, excuse me. Apparently, she's, um, yeah, we have to go, we have to go rumble in the, rumble in the jungle once again. And I am not keen for that. But instead, what we're going to try and attempt to do today is get ourselves some dash gone a dapper looking kit uh, and in order to do this we need villagers now in the book let's uh, let's go grab it I've stashed it for the time being um, I didn't realize but what you could do is this um, from like apparently level four onwards you can get yourself a dapper hat <laughs> I was told that's almost a direct quote from my comments last episode uh, do a weak minded bloody bloody blah that's fine uh, horror of horrors he lured five of them to specially prepared iron cages topped with wool and with a gap at the front, so he sealed them inside, yada yada yada. Now, I'm assuming uh, he mesmerized them <laughs> and then he drank all he could without damaging any. I'm assuming that's what we need. If we look at, say, the old vampire dress, uh, ladies one, why not? I'm sure it's the same. What's the difference? No, no way, you get a leather pad on the front. <laughs> nice. Anyhow, so woven cura is this bloodstained wool, which is, I'm assuming is what happens when we trap a villager. <laughs> so that's the plan for today uh, and we're going to do this um, I was thinking about it, there is a really good way of doing this and I finally found a use for uh, circle magics that I hadn't realised before oh my god, t -boat, hang on indeed so um, in circle magics we have this rite of transposition which is to summon the tag lock, tag lock kit bound creature or player there we go, so essentially we can summon um, tag locked villagers over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to um, the far side. Now you can see here I've got some previously tag locked villagers. I was testing this out and it works like a freaking charm. So we're going to do it now. What I need hopefully is a piece of flint. Um, now this could be a problem. Oh man. Or oh, actually we don't even need a piece of flint. What we need is a waystone and I know I've definitely got some waystones around here. Yeah we have. So we're going to grab two of those because they're needed. Um, actually, no, what I needed a flint for was to make some needles. And so I've got bone needles here. I can't show you how to make it. Well, anyhow, make bone needles with uh, bone and flint. Add the bone needle with a um, doohickey. Good God, a glass bottle. And it will make you an empty taglock kit. Now, oh, that's a shame, man. I wanted to go taglock a beastie or two. Hmm, let's go see if we've got any needles on the inside. I'm pretty sure I had some somewhere. Hey, don't set fire to me as a vampire. Ah, oh, that's another thing, actually. That's a good reminder we're going to uh, get rid of the uh, pigman power because apparently having anything that has fire resistance in it will nullify all your other powers, which is a bit of a bugger. So I don't want to do that. Oh, would you look at it? Not one piece of flint. Ah, oh, dang it. And I put my broom down in the midair. Fantastic. Right, hang on. I'll be right back. Right, that should do it. That was seconds worth, but worth, <laughs> worth not watching. Right, we've got four pieces of flint. That's all good. So if we get ourselves a boon... And then we get ourselves a bone and a piece of flint. You get eight bone needles. You add the bone needle to a tag lock kit. And for each bottle, you will get an empty tag lock kit. There we go. Hoorah. Done. Fantastic. Good. Happy days. Okay. What's the time? We're running out of time already. Let's um, let's do this the sneaky way, actually. What we'll do is we shall grab ourselves a home waystone. And we shall grab ourselves a main village waystone. <laughs> I shall port over there quickly. We've got half the night left. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what's coming. You can see it. You can see it happening any time now. Now, hopefully this won't teleport me back over there. I'm pretty sure this goes to the village. Oh, we're at the village. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got people sleeping. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, I don't know if I've, I've sucked these guys. I have this one. I have not definitely sucked this dude, so... <laughs> oh, God. The out-of-contextness of that would be ridiculous. Uh, okay. Let's drink him a little bit. We're going to drink ourselves full, actually, for the first time ever. <gasps> we are... Oh, no, I woke him up! Oh, God. No, he's fine. He's... He gained loads of health, and I think they don't like me now, but that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to tag lock you. Shift, right click. Lovely. One bound villager. And we're just going to shift tag lock you as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Right. Um, oh, I forgot the other chalk. That's a problem. Now, what I've done is I've placed a um, doohick here as well. Ah, oh, no, we're going to have to fly back. What's the time? Time. Time. Time indeed. Let's go. So, yes. 
Um, what we're going to do is get back to base. And um, I'm panicking a little because this is probably a silly idea. We're going to get back to base, turn transpose them over, and then <laughs> we've got to get them down into the layer. Now, this is going to be interesting. Um, hopefully, we're not going to die. I think... What's the time? Time. Sun is drawing close. Oops, press the wrong button. But that's okay, except for that skelly. This could be um, not a great thing. Hang on, let's stop it. Jeez, right, let's get our broom. Oh boy, come on, nope. Come on, there we go. Right, let's get in before um, all hell breaks loose and the sun rises. I think we are really cutting it fine. <gasps> All right, we're almost in. Oh, come on, world. There we go. Oh, whew, right. Oh, vampire panic over. Let's just block you up for the time being. Good. Whew. Let's see if we can actually sleep, because that was getting a little bit close. Nearly. Whew. Okay, fair enough. We're safe. We're safe for now. Good. Oh, right. So, we have the tag lock stuff. Um, that's good. What we need... See, I could have jumped back, but I didn't take my waystones with me. My um, my purple chalk I left. I was going to take some purple chalk with me. Never mind. And um, what we need is... Uh, we've got the iron axes. That's good. We need some ender juice stuff, which I've been basically cooking up all the ender balls we've been collecting. And we've got a fair whack of the stuff now, actually. Good gods, yeah. Look at that. Good god, good god, y'all. Um, 20, 20, 20. Wow, that's a lot of ender balls I cooked. Uh, so we're going to need two of those as well. And I think... That is everything, so let's have a look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Waystone, Tagalock Kit, Enderju, Iron Axe. Waystone, Tagalock Kit, Enderju, Iron Axe. Ah, uh, uh, Iron Picks. <laughs> right. Let's just go make a couple of Iron Axes. And what we're going to do is do this thing. Uh, honestly, honestly. That's amazing. Two Iron Picks. Set of, set of, set of, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six will do. That's cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yes. Two iron axes. It's well worth it. Well worth it. So, right. Let me go sh Oops, Let me go show you guys what I've been up to. I've covered more of this this area here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's safe now, basically, because I needed to get down into my hole. Because down here, what we, oops, erp, what we have is one villager. Oops, if I can get down. Come on, let me in. Thank you very much. We have one villager here, and what we have ready is the villager super fun happy slide. Yay! See, very important. Yay! So, yes, yeah, the villager super fun happy slide. All I need to do is get him in here. So, you know what? I need that pick now. I've got rid of it. <laughs> let, me, let me just do this by hand while we talk through the plan. At the bottom of this super fun happy slide is... Um, it's a water-based super fun happy slide. Uh, I didn't have enough rails to connect everything all the way down manually, so we have a little rail system at the bottom. And what I want to do is see if I can just nudge this guy. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Yeah, you love it. Hello. Come on. In you go. Go for a swim. Yay. Come on. Get in there. Get Go on. Go on. See you later, buddy. Right, I'm going to have to... Hmm, has he got two health? Might be because where I drained him and then teleported him over. Fantastic. So we'll follow him down so I can show you the super fun happy slide. It's super and fun. Whee! You go all the way down here. Pew! He's going, he's going. This is the first test with the villager, so I'm hoping it works. I want to kind of leave him alone. Make sure he gets down there of his own accord. He's fighting the current. He is fighting the current. But you can't do it, sir. You can't do it. Bye. Whee! <laughs> so little by little, what we've got to do is get these guys down here. And I'm pretty sure most of you all can guess what's going to be at the bottom. Oh man, they take their time. Come on, buddy. You good? You good? Stop stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. It's a super fun happy slide. There you go. <laughs> See? See how much more fun it is when you go forwards? Yeah, it is. Go on a little bit more. There's a nice little carriage waiting for you, sir. Nice little carriage. Nice little carriage. Oh, he's proper battling it right at the end there. Maybe I was going to have to give them all a little bit of a nudge. A little bit of encouragement. Come on, sir. Come on. In you go. There you go, sir. And you are in your designated area. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, no, I didn't bring a pick with me. That's no problem. Let's get rid of these. And what we're going to do is reset this for the next guy. And hopefully, guy, hopefully if we push you in, get you right in there, then put you up, and then... Oops, no, I don't want to do that. Can I... Oh, he's here. He is here, but I can't get to that. I can't get to that. Oh, no. <laughs> this is no good. I want you to stay in there, buddy. Um, maybe I can transfix you now. Let's do this while we're here. So, ooh, let's see, he's already, no, I see he's, he's drained. I can't drain him anymore because he's hurt. Ah, 
other airship. I'm going to have to get the other ones because we don't want to drain him, drain him further than he can be harmed, basically. Oh, man, I can't get to that freaking thing. Right, I'm going to have to make another cart or risk losing this guy. Hang on. How many of these now? I've only got three. Right, we're going to leave that. But that's the plan, basically. So there we go. <laughs> I've, uh, oh, I've blocked all of this off for the time being. Let's break our way back through. And I can show you in here. Not masses of progress. We've done a little bit of clearance. It's all good. It's looking cleaner. We've got more more of that hole there. And we've got another passageway. Oh, and also these are connected now, actually. I forgot to show you. Let's do that real quickly while we're here. I may as well, because we could. Um, so all the way down here, what we have is a long connecting tunnel. Which now hooks round. We can go all the way down and into our bigger cavern. Oh, yeah, from all the way up there. But we will have stairs coming down as well. It's just a handy little walkthrough, which is great for uh, baiting mobs, <laughs> really, is what I've been up to doing. It's been quite good. Quite a lot of fun. Right. Anywho, let's go transpose one of these villages over because that is also as amazingly awesome as it sounds. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. I love it. Cool. Right, let's get out of here. I put steps on here at last. Um, at last, he says, any mini room? couple of days but uh, it doesn't make navigating this a hell of a lot easier and I got rid of all the mud blocks because mud's ugly and um, yeah it's all about stone and cobble for me in this case right so let's transpose ourselves another villager put him back in the happy fun slide um, although we're gonna have to run back and oh man this is gonna be awkward we have to go back and forth um, because we need the cart down there as well hmm. all right let me get that sorted out and uh, yeah I'll be right back how's that one two three four uh, is it five yeah Alrighty, the trap, I mean, um, uh, escort cart is set. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go get this guy. So, villager number two for our super fun happy slide. Uh, what we need is all of these three. Push, push, push. And we'll chuck that one in. And I'm hoping this is the guy we haven't damaged. That would be good. Come on, buddy. And oof, here he is. Oh, yeah, no, I think we drank from you. Oh, he's full, though. Yeah, hey, buddy. Yeah, you're probably a bit panicky, aren't you? Hmm. This could be a problem. I need you to. I need you with your beautiful green and white eye combo. Man, are you blind, dude? I just want an eye. Just one eye. Let's get you. Get you. Oh, you're right in the corner. You really, really. Come on, come on. Get over here. How do I? Come on, buddy. Come on. I've got all these waypoints. I'm gonna have to clear out my waypoint selection. Actually, there's quite a few now. You're not gonna move out of there, are you? You're gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll call your buddy down as well. We might as well, and then we'll have three. I don't know how many we're going to need. Well, it says five in the book, but we might be doing this a little bit too early. Oh, that's a point. We should go kill some blazes as well, get some super strength. Oh, yeah. There he is. I saw you. There you are. Hey, you dudes. How you doing, man? Let's keep you out of the corner. Oh, you're also full health. You're so getting drunk. I mean, uh, you're, uh, there's a drink for you downstairs, sir. If you just follow this path there. Good oak. Right, just to make sure the other guy doesn't come down for now. No, that's not going to do anything, is it? It's exactly the wrong place. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Give me the mud. Give me the mud. Uh, there. Good. Right. So let's follow him down. Give him a little nudge. And we should get him in. And then we'll transfix him and feed on him. Indeed. Yes. Yes, we will. There you go, sir. Yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, no. I've gone too far. I dug too deep. Am I in the way now? Oh, nuts. How can I be in? Oh, no. This is bad news. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> Classic. Absolutely classic. Right, let's get down. Get down to the ground. Get up here. No, come on. Okay, good. We'll wait for him to come past. There we go. Hey, buddy. Good skills, dude. Give you a nudge. Oh, no. No! How did you not get into the cart? You rotter. Yes! Gotcha. Sucker. <laughs> right, let me get past you. Nope, there's no getting past you. Okay, let's hope that cart doesn't suffer too much in the water. Man, what a palaver. Honestly, I'm like, you know, halfway to becoming a vampire lord. <laughs> Look what I'm doing! <laughs> Off you go. There we go, sir. Enjoy your ride. Ding, ding. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's awesome. So, maybe... Let's get you right over. I'll grab that. No! No! That was bound to happen, wasn't it? I mean, that was just a given that was going to actually happen. You are panicking over nothing, my friend. Everything is absolutely fine. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, if you could... No! If you could not go up there, that would be handy. Oh, Maybe maybe I can drop him in. That would be amazing. Hang on. Let's see. <laughs> He's probably run off by now. It wouldn't surprise me. 
Oh, he's in. He's in again. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. You want to get in that hole. You want to get in the hole. You're not going to fall in that hole, are you? Because it's probably going to hurt you. Oh, you so did. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give this a test. So, transfixing you, sir. You transfixed? I think you're transfixed. It looks good. And then if we feed... No! What do you mean? Why do you get angry? Transfixed and feed. Oh, really? 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 I killed him. Oh, right. Let's go get the other one. Hang on. Oh, alrighty. <laughs> He's in. Let's see if we can't kill this one for a change. That'd be good. You know, I'm just going to sacrifice that thing. It doesn't matter. If I can get it, it'll be amazing. Oh, maybe I can if I just go right up, right up close here. Yay! Success. Right, so what did we do wrong? <laughs> what did we do wrong? Indeed. So, transfix... You sound so transfixed right now. And then drink blood. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's full. Ah, dang it, I'm full. No, oh, no. I need to waste a lot of blood. How do I do that? Right, maybe some speed boosts? I can't just keep speed boosting. Oh, man, that's a lot. Oh, wow. Super speedy. Whee. <laughs> I haven't actually tried full top tier of this yet, so... That's top tier vampire speed. How do we do against water? Terribly. But uh, running speed is, uh, is uh, I think it's pretty good actually, I think it's pretty good. So, dang it, we couldn't do the, the thing. Yeah, you're definitely transfixed and now feed on you. Ah, oh, damn it, I fed till he was hurt. That's disastrous and this isn't doing anything. I'm not getting any blood. Why doesn't this work? Oops. Super fast, super fast. All oh, right, well, I, I don't know, anybody got any advice? That's a bit weird. We might have to leave that for the time being, but uh, yeah, there you go. The fine art of transpositioning <laughs> and, and killing innocent civvies. That's that's really harsh. I'm going to have to get a couple more. Um, yeah, what a shame. I don't know why. I don't know why that didn't work. Maybe I'll have to let them feed for a little bit while. Get them, um, get them back up to full health. We shall see. All right. Well, I might get a couple more villagers, and I'll be back in a little while. Mahaha! <laughs> I gotcha. I fooled you all. I had to thinking I was an idiot. Ah, uh, uh, April Fools. Ah, uh, it's a week late. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. No, well, it serves you right. It serves me right. It serves everybody. It serves me right. It serves me right. For not reading the wiki, look, I've worked it out. <laughs> I worked it out as a vampire who went and educated himself. Turns out all you need is a bone needle and some wool. So I collected all the wool I had, which is about 30, 30 odd, 33 blocks maybe. And all you need to do, and I made load of bone needles because I didn't need if I uh, didn't know if they were required, but you just right click on one and it makes it into a bloody block, so that's brilliant. Um, and it does take quite a lot of blood. So we don't want to drain ourselves too much. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. <sighs> it's not going to be enough to make much, I'm afraid. Nine, ten, ow, eleven. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Um, I'm sure. Can we just pick them up? Yeah, we can. Right, cool. Let's go through these and get these cooking. So, with nine, I'm thinking... Ah, oh, you see, I'd like the dapper hat, but the sword cane would also be awesome. I don't know. We're going to do all of this. I'm just going to have to hop back and forth to a few various villages and top up on the old blood supply. But I think it should be fine. Let's, um, let's cook this up and see how this goes. I'm quite excited by this. This is exciting. I'm quite excited by this. This is exciting. Wow. Check it out. Pro commentary. Um... <laughs> So, whoops, grab that there. Um, yeah, I left it in the thing, that's cool. There we go, woven cura. Ho, ho, ho. Uses for this. We can make a vampire dress coat. We can make a female vampire dress coat if we fancy a little bit of gender swapping in the middle of the series. Uh, vampire trousers. Fantastic. Or a vampire skirt. Again, option is there. Ooh, look. Cane sword. It's a piece of gold. One, two, three, four, five. And the top hat is one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten. <sighs> can I make a diamond sword? Oh my god. God, can I make a diamond sword? Can I make a diamond sword? I want the cane. If I can get the cane and the top hat, then that'll be dashing, sir. <laughs> this is what that will be. That'll be amazing. So quick run around. Ah, come on, I must. Yes! <laughs> oh, superb. We're so having that. And oh, I think there was one piece of gold. Yeah, we've got a few in here. That's awesome balls. Uh, I'm just going to chuck that up in there. And you, and I don't want any of you for the minute. 
Uh, let's keep it reasonably neat in here. This is my chest of, I hope I don't ever accidentally right click in it, or centre click to um, <laughs> change it all up. There's some important positioning in there. Right. And a, da -da and a piece of stick. <laughs> a piece of stick. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to get a cane. Guys, we're still going to get the cane. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so happy about this. Oh, you're done. <gasps> get the cane and the top hat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So the sword was something like uh, this. Squee. Uh, sneak used to draw and she siphons blood uh, of kills to an internal reservoir. Ooh. Use when used to extract blood reservoir 250. Awesome. We have ourselves a sword. And a top hat. <laughs> Look at that. What are the set bonuses? Two pieces, faster drinking. That's pretty damn sweet. Oh, that counts. That means I have two pieces. No, dang it. It's the clothing only. Uh, fire resistance with three pieces. Fair enough. Um, and also mesmerized boost. Ooh. And extended fire resistance for four pieces. That's amazing. Let's put it on. I'm going to need to... Um, let's, let's get rid of the gear. We'll keep the slippers on. And... Da -da -da -da. Da. We are going to be styling. Let's shift right click. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, most ludicrous looking vampire ever. <laughs> is she the sword? Ah, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you so know the intros are going to be interesting from now on. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, schnick, get away. Get away. Look at that. That is phenomenal. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Vampire Chillum and really getting it on. Um, obviously, in between episodes now, let's get back into a funky mood. Um, it's a case of getting some more blood. But she, you, so good. Uh, getting some more blood and making some more blocks because we want our final pieces of kit. So that is awesome. The plan, I've been advised, and I hope this works because it would be damn cool if it does, is to um, fight Lith again. Apparently, we have to go back into the nether. That would be amazing. Of course. Um, and once she's done, which is going to be hard work, I'll probably cheat my way through that again, <laughs> just, just to make it simpler. Um, once all that's over, hopefully, okay, excuse me, dude, um, we can give her the kit, and apparently she might enchant it for us, which would be quite sweet. So we're going to try that out, and hopefully, like I say, maybe next time, I don't know, we shall see. In the meantime, Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this derp of an episode. My gods, how to get things completely wrong just by purely not flicking a few pages through a wiki. Excellent. Well, on that note, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching once again and as always. And also, just before I leave, thank you to everybody who has joined recently, who has subbed to the channel. There has been a huge influx, and I believe it's mostly due to this series. So you guys are loving the witchery, and I'm so happy about that, because I'm having a splendid time. So on that note, let's do the old dapper outro. Tally-ho, gentlemen and ladies, and I'll see you next time. What, what? Cheerio!